And it's always nice when someone in your life buys you a bunch of flowers, but how do you prolong the life mm -hmm. of those flowers once you get them home? You get them in the vase. There's a lot of old theories about things you can do or drop into the bottom of the vase. Yes, there's like a mouthwash. You could put bleach in. You could put things like lemonade, a bit of sugar, mm -hmm. lots of different things. Last week, though, some scientists had been conducting some experiments involving Viagra mm -hmm. and have confirmed that, yes, according to them and their results, the Viagra did help with the life of the flowers in the vase. So we thought we'd conduct our own little experiment. We've tasked producer Mick, though, with the job of sitting there and staring at our six experimental flasks. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely, whatever you do, don't do bleach. That plant has killed itself instantly. Okay, Any, anything else fare terribly, Mick? Uh, sugar didn't do too well, right. um, and neither did aspirin. They both just look really, really sad. Let's turn our focus now to the Viagra. Was there any okay. sort of definitive movement with the flower that was in the water with the Viagra added? I don't think there was any movement. There wasn't any perking up. It was still, the, the um, petals did still kind of droop a little bit, mm -hmm. but not as fast and not as much as the others. Right. Okay. So it kind of kept it up, but didn't make it any bigger. That yeah, right. You really want to be wasting your little blue pills on, you know, stiffening up the flowers rather than stiffening up yourself. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't experienced the problem. <laughs> but if you feel that you need to keep the pills handy and not drop them in the flowers, then you do you, mate. Well, I'm just thinking, well, I guess maybe you need the pill to prolong the flowers to keep the other person happy to then get the other thing happening. So whenever you're thinking of a session, put two aside, not just one aside. Get outside your brain. Just get two scripts, all right? Go to different doctors. <laughs>